stars in the entire universe is here. And it is this gigantic Lincoln Continental. And uh, I just met the owner, and the owner is Rich. So, hi, Rich. Hi. How are you doing? Um, so, first of all, tell me what this is. This is a 63 Lincoln Continental convertible, obviously. Mm -hmm. It is an original Las Vegas car. Oh, interesting. I've had it about 15, 16 years. Okay. Um, I bought it. It had sat outside here in Las Vegas for 16 years. Oh, wow. So Outside? Outside. Well, yeah. in the so desert. It was trashed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the body, the steel was good. Yeah. But the top was rotted. The interior was rotted. The dashboard had big cracks in it. Yeah. And so... We took it. The paint wasn't terrible. Yeah. It wasn't good, but it wasn't terrible. Okay. So, but anyway, I took it in, had the body redone completely. There was no body damage. Stripped it down to bare metal. So the, the, it was straight. The body was straight. It was completely straight. Okay. There, there good. was good. no damage to the body, no bondo, no nothing. Yeah. And good. So we stripped it down to bare metal, did a repaint, had the entire interior redone. Okay. All leather. Not Naga Hide. Not Naga Hide. There was actually, it was vinyl was in there. When I bought it, I sat in a seat and the seat just crumbled underneath me. Oh. Because yeah. it was so rotted from being in the sun. So I had it all redone. And I had it all original for about 12 years. Um, the top worked. But I had to put a new top on it. Okay. And then once I had everything else done, there's a guy, John Cashman, who's actually been on Jay Leno's Garage, featuring this car with the top function. Interesting. And he travels around in an RV and drags an old suburban behind him. And you open it, and all he's got are parts for the 61 to 65, I think, Lincoln and Thunderbird convertibles. Oh, wow. Because they're all the same mechanical stuff. Yeah, that's so beautiful. It's all automatic. The lid flips up, the top goes in, the lid comes down, and your top's put away. Is the Thunderbird yours too? No. Okay. It's Kelvin's. Okay. Because that's a beautiful car too. So I had it for about 20 years, and all original. I did get tired of all of the constant maintenance that it took on an old engine. Yeah, to keep it running. Let's work our way that direction. Okay. Because so I this is the that. original dealer tag on here. And I actually, up in Moapa, I ran into a guy that used to work at that dealership, and he oh, was the service manager. Oh, wow. During the period that this car was sold. So he told me, he's like, I probably touched this car, which was really, wow. really neat. And he told me that this dealership was where the Strat is today. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so... That's a nice piece of local history. It is, it is. It's pretty neat. One thing that I think a lot of people cannot appreciate, certainly on video or in picture, is just how epically long this car is. Yeah. No, do you have any idea, nose the tail, how long this thing is? I don't know. It's... It's, it's huge. And, of course, the suicide doors. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like... That's it's a, just such a beautiful feature. Yeah, it is. It's one of the things that attracted me to this car. That and the slab side. Yeah. That I just I like the simplicity of it. And, yeah. You know, it's beautifully done interior. I love that it's still got the original look to everything. Yeah, these are the original colors that this car was. Oh, nice. Good. Okay, so to keep. let's talk about the engine. Five or six years ago, I had a... Coyote motor put in it, which is the Ford 5.0 liter. Yep. This actually came out of a uh, Mustang GT. Nice. And it only had 1,700 miles on it. I, I don't know what happened to the car, but the engine was solid. Uh huh. So I put that that engine in it. I had to put a new front clip on to yeah. accommodate yeah. the engine because yeah. it wouldn't fit the where the old Lincoln engine fit. Yeah. And I had this done by Swing Shift Auto, which is here in town. Basically, had to rebuild the entire engine yes. compartment. Yeah. And yeah. he does all his own fabrication and everything. And that is a piece of work. Right it is. There. It is. Yeah. Rolled with disc brakes on it. Nice. Rack and pinion steering with the new front end. Yeah. Just made it so much more drivable and. 
nice choice on the wheels, too. Yeah, I wanted to stay as close to original as possible when yeah. I put the new front end in with the disc brakes. Yeah. The 15-inch wheels that were original would not fit. Right. So right. I had these wheels made. They're 17-inch. I had them made for this, this car. Well, this is epic. I mean, I don't know. This was top of the line in its day. I don't know if you yeah. could have bought a better yeah. car in its day yeah, it's, than this car. Yeah. And I, you know, and I'm honestly, I'm a Ford fan too. So oh, okay. Uh, okay. That doesn't hurt. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is really, really a nice car. Thank um, you. Let me ask you this though. Why this car? Why this? Of all the cars that you could have bought, why this one? I've thought about that. And the profile of this car, just the big square box, yeah. I just thought it was so cool. It was yeah. just very simple. And I remembered when I was in fourth grade, my grandfather had a friend in Palm Springs and we went out to visit him. And he had two of these. Oh, wow. And I remember then how cool I thought it was with the suicide doors and the whole yeah. bit. Yeah. And the funny part about that story is we're driving around Palm Springs, I think it was July, in these convertibles, but he had the top on. I couldn't figure out why in July you wouldn't want the top down on a convertible. I didn't know at the time it was like 115 degrees outside, and I hadn't put it together in the fourth grade. You know, I just didn't. Time. But anyway, I figured it out years later. Yeah. Does this have air conditioning in it? It does. Okay. It nice. did originally, but when I did the engine swap, we put vintage air. Yeah, okay. I've got all the coded digital instrumentation in it now. Nice. So everything is modern on this car today. Yeah. yeah. That's a, you know what? I got no problem with that at all. Um, even my car over there, it, nothing in the engine or drivetrain or electrical or anything is original. None of it. Yeah. Because you got to make it a drivable car. You can drive you it. You can yeah. drive it. You can drive it, yeah. And yeah, if it's exactly. 115, I can put the top up and run the AC and I don't have to worry about it overheating. And you're and, good. Yeah. Well, did you did you grow up with a passion for cars? Is that something from A your, little bit. My dad, dad was always a big fan of, of racing and I went to a lot of races growing up with him. Okay. And I've always liked cars. Yeah. I just never had the money to have a car like this until I got yeah, yeah. a little older and, and I'm, I'm right there with you. I could, I could do it. So. Yeah, yeah. Have you got anything else besides the Lincoln? I do. I have a 56 Continental Mark II. Oh, nice. It is all original. Nice. And then I have a 53 Cadillac convertible Series 62. Nice. And I put a, an LS engine in that. Oh. It took me 12 years to figure out I wanted a new engine in this one, but that one after I dealt with it and yeah. rebuilt the transmission and the starter and the steering pump and I don't know, something else went out and I'm like, no, I'm done. Yeah. So I put an LS3 in that one. And, yeah. But very, the, the very Mark II nice. will stay original and... Well, I, I sense a theme in your collection I like there. the Lincolns, yeah. yeah. I like in the fact, I just got a... It was brand new, but it was a 2020 uh, Lincoln Continental, the last year they made them, the Coach Door Edition. Oh, yeah, sure. Which also has the suicide doors. Yeah. And, and they lengthened them by, I think it was six inches or nine inches or something like that. So I do like the Lincolns. Beautiful car. I, I don't blame you one bit, but this is this is epic. Thanks. Epic. Thanks. And it's a, it, to me, it's, a, it's one of the great iconic cars of the 60s. Thanks. I think so. Yeah. I love it. Well, honestly, th Rich, thank you for, for taking the time to talk with me about your car. And I absolutely love this car. This is a great cruising down the strip kind of it car. Is. It so. is. Thanks, man. Appreciate All right. it. Thank you.